it'll be painted black. The frame, all the frame welds will be then um, welded up properly because um, some of it is just tacked in place at the moment. And then obviously all these um, all these uh, strengthening plates, gussets and what have you, will be fitted and welded into place properly. And then when that's done, the frame can then be fully painted, and then uh, it'll be assembly time, basically. So that's where we're at today. Obviously, the back mud guard is, um, which has been made out of um, a trailer fender, which was cut this way, and obviously shortened as well. So um, it was welded into plate. It was welded together using. Um, a strip because obviously it wasn't wide enough so basically I cut it in half widened it and the gap then I cut a strip and basically welded it in place but I lapped it I didn't I didn't like butt, butt it together and weld it because it was just bending the road place so basically what I've done is uh, it's actually um, you can't see it at the back there but it's actually it's actually lapped it is and then it's been welded on two seams on the top and obviously then two seams at the bottom so it's good and strong. And that, well, just a little update. Um, been working on it for a little while now, and uh, managed to get the exhaust on. But I've come across a couple of problems. Ba mainly, um, this exhaust stud is sheared, so I can't actually do this pipe up correctly to the engine face. So it's going to alter where this actually sits. This part here, I've got this tube now uh, roughly in place obviously cutting out here this this is all waste material this, this will be um, cut and bent round this pipe as much as possible and the same on the front here but as you can see from underneath um, they're virtually touching here and I've got a nice gap here so basically this bracket here this bracket needs to be made a little bit higher longer so that this will pick up a little bit higher so because I can't be absolutely accurate in where this this piece is to start with, this job is going to be the last job to do after the engine's done, the frame's done a lot. Because basically now I can do this up properly and I can actually see where I'm actually working to, if you know what I mean. But um, yeah, that's, that, that definitely needs to come up a bit to make the two pipes parallel with each other. Um, it's not a bad, not a bad gap here. Um, chrome flaking off, look. Um, but obviously, you won't. That won't do where it's touching there. So basically, and you can't see it, but inside here, I've got one tube. This is this is the outside skin. So the inside um, part fits inside there, but there is a, a gap which basically this piece of um, stainless exhaust which I used on the BMW, this off cut um, if I cut it down there as well to act as like a spring basically will button the two, the inside tube to this tube and it will fit quite nice plus with uh, like a, a couple of Jubilee clips um, obviously you have to do the same on this one here and then that should work fine. So, roughly speaking, that is what the exhaust is going to look like. Roughly. Alright, it's time to make some uh, decisions here. Um, basically, this is one of the side pieces that, that goes in. And then obviously that piece goes on there like that, which obviously doesn't fit correctly because uh, all this is now moved. Um, I'm coming to the conclusion that I just need to get going on this. And what I mean by that is obviously um, these are springs for the seat. I'll try and do this one handed. I mean, so I've got the tank on. I need to fabricate something up there to bolt that through, and then obviously the seat comes here. Then obviously I've got this con to contend with. This can be a plate basically from here straight across, just to cover. Um, it's 
if my battery box basically comes from, I mean I can fabric put a piece of steel straight across there and that could be the front face of the battery box and that will strengthen this whole section here up and obviously I could then put a plate in underneath there as well um, the only trouble is the rain would sit on this side so I've put in drain holes um, basically I need to get on with it so I'm going to start stripping it down and basically um, get the frame done then get the engine done the engine can go then back into the frame and then any 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 slight welding alterations I need to make afterwards after I've strengthened all this up I could just grind down weld repaint like something like to pick up a lug there for instance um, this rail I'm going to keep this rail in place um, but basically, this, this is my this is my forward, shall we say, firewall across there that will basically um, keep the separate the engine away from the actual all the electrical items. Um, I've come to that decision because I'm basically not getting anywhere at the moment. I need to get this engine out so I can actually fix that, um, get the engine painted, get this part fabricated. I'm um, just going to videotape this quickly because even though I've taken photographs of it before. Just going to try and. I've, I've, already, I've already documented all this on uh, basically what I'm going to do here, but I don't want to do it. Remember that there. Your clutch is there. Um, obviously, I need to sort out this. That can come off there, that bit there. Um, I need to get going at it basically, even if it means that the engine's done, the frame's done, and this all looks like a pile of shit. Um, who cares? Because I just want to get the bike going now. Well, I do care, but. Do you know what I mean? I can get the bike going and worry about this like next year or some other time, basically. But if I if I do that, if I actually um, put a piece of plate across straight across there, that will strengthen that up no end, basically. Um, and also, I'll even do a plate underneath, I think. And obviously, have holes through for cables and stuff. But that'll make that right nice and strong, I think. And obviously, if I web it here, web it here. Um, we're up, we're up, making nice and strong. And even if I end up with just a great big box in here, I can just put a battery in and all the other bits and pieces. Then so be it. Right, there we go.